Hello, everyone. This is Zen. Welcome to the Zen Lounge. We have a lot to talk about today. Uh, I was going to go live on YouTube, but my internet was being funky. So I just decided to make a re regular video for you guys to cover these quick updates. This is just going to be a quick video. First, I want to shout out my one friend who made me this NFT. So I actually just got my first NFT on the Sologenic Marketplace. Something that you guys, I don't talk about enough. If you guys are artists, if you're creative, you could actually use the Sologenic decks to mint NFTs. And I just got this 101 Zen Lounge Tiger NFT. If you're not familiar with the Tiger, you guys, obviously the guy that made this for me knows me because it's the year of the Tiger, Chinese astrology, uh, the Tiger planet, Jupiter. We've been talking about it all year. Even Elon Musk knows about the Tiger. The Tiger, it's 2022, here we go. So let's get into the important information. Something that we've been tracking for some time is uh, the US uh, Dixie. The Dixie went from, it was at its all time high for the past 20 years. So it hit a 20 year high since 2002, uh, the relative strength index of the US dollar. And during that time when the dollar was on an uptrend, you know, Bitcoin was getting beat down. All of a sudden we see this violent red candle for the US dollar and things go green, things go green. Let me show you, so I, I, I posted this screenshot you go over to the Zen Lounge Telegram. So I posted a screenshot of this candle that somebody shared in the Telegram. So you see this red candle. A few seconds later, I, I screenshot at the crypto market. Everything just immediately went green. So that's pretty bullish. Uh, if the dollar keeps retracing, it's going to be a big, big rally coming. Uh, something else that I thought was pretty cool to bring up, changing the subject, uh, the Vatican is going to democratize uh, art with NFTs. Vatican to create an NFT gallery to democratize art. You know, a bunch of us in the Zen Lounge started to immediately think of what um, ELS is doing with physical art, and it's also based out of Italy. So could this be bullish for uh, ELS at the, uh, in the Athena token with, uh, you know, basically... Uh, putting the artwork in the Vatican on NFTs and giving it back to the people, possibly. That's uh, what else happened. What else happened today? Juno, uh, the Juno whale finally is, saga is finally over. The community basically won that battle. Uh, your APR went up 10% and uh, the community is now in control of 3.1 million in Juno. So that's the update with Juno. What else do we have to talk about? One XRP equals one core. That's it. That's the tweet. Uh, one XRP equals one core. XRP sitting at 64 cents. Uh, Corium sitting at 64 cents. So Corium is still not on any exchanges. It's very, there's only going to be 100 million Corium that will exist the first year. And uh, we will get basically uh, able, we will have the opportunity to compound our Corium for 24 months. So uh, Corium, the storm is just beginning. XRP, climbing, climbing, climbing. Who's been noticing Elon Musk getting a lot more bold, uh, bold on uh, his Twitter account, uh, calling out Soros Clinton um, directly? So what are your guys' thoughts on Elon? Do you think he's a good guy? Do you think he's a bad guy? Do you think he's, uh, do, you, do you not, can you not get a read on this guy? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, but he's definitely going after a lot of different people. He's definitely being pretty uh, vocal about people that I also don't like. I'm not a fan of George Soros, to be real with you guys. <laughs> what else do I have to talk to you guys about? I've been hunting and I've been searching for the coolest, most hip venue to bring the Corium main net launch networking event. We had an amazing event in Los Angeles. Now I'm looking to host a mini block party with exhibits and music and drinks and socializing. Me personally, I'm not that big a fan of the metaverse. I'm more of a fan of real uh, interaction and and, and uh, that's exactly why, you know, if everyone else is planning stuff for the metaverse, we'll be the ones that plan stuff for uh, the real earth and uh, have something really special. I think I'm gonna have it in the heart of the art district in Las Vegas. And the art district in Las Vegas is up and coming art city. It's all about art and culture. And uh, I wanna have some NFT exhibits. I wanna have a cool, just really cool um, 
real life experience that people could come and all the different Quorium people, because you know, we're gonna be the new, not the one percent, the point one percent, point zero point one percent. And it's gonna be really hard to, you know, network with other Quorium people and to have trust and and uh, this is gonna be a place where we're all gonna be able to meet up and uh, build real connections uh, and, uh, you know, network. That's the whole point. So that's gonna be coming soon. There's only gonna be 150 uh, waiting list spots available. So you make sure you get on the waiting list, only 150 spots. <coughs> Los Angeles, the, uh, the events went fast. I don't know if you guys ever had the wild tonic hard kombucha wild tonic this stuff is fire right here but yeah guys that's most of uh my updates i wanted to talk a little bit about elon's post uh elon's definitely getting more based on on social media calling out uh calling out a lot of uh deep state uh core is the same price as xrp congratulations core holders this guy says one core equals one bitcoin and Mauricio says, that's the world I want to live in one day. Imagine if Corium gets to the same price as Bitcoin. Wow. We're really pulling up to uh, Zen Lounge Vegas and helicopters and, and flying cars. So uh, everybody, let me know. Let me see if I have anything else to cover with you guys. On May 15th, uh, total lunar eclipse will turn the moon red the night of May 15th. Uh, May 13th, 133rd day of the year, Friday the 13th. What else do I have to share? So the head of blockchain and crypto research at Uphold started following Equilibrium Games. I think that's noteworthy. The head of uh, the head of Equilibrium Game, the head of crypto research at Uphold is following Equilibrium Games. Let me repeat that. That's that's bullish in my opinion. So that's your EQ Games update for today. Yeah, guys, I hope everybody had an amazing May 4th. May the 4th be with you. I know all of you guys watching my channel are Jedis. And uh, we're going to use our Jedi powers to change the timeline and bring abundance to each and every one of our lives. So I just gave you guys an update on why I believe we just saw a pump. We talked a little bit about Corium hitting the same price by XRP. We talked about the block party slash NFT event hosted by the Zen Lounge talked about elon musk that's all i got for you guys today everybody have an awesome day let me know what project you're most bullish about for this quarter two rally that we're seeing what project are you most bullish about put your project in the comment section below what project do you want me to cover what project do you want me to talk about what video do you want me to make next let me know give me your request in the comment section below peace